Oh, I see. That four years is actually how long the mandate lasts for, I think. Okay. That's good to I know. sat with three other members of the research team. Are you fucking serious? Suddenly, it dawned on us. We're four men. Oh. You get it? Four men? Oh. Incidentally, we also discovered bad puns. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a fucking really bad one. Uh, manager skills for production buildings unlocked. Great. Does that mean... Do we actually even have a manager? Who's this manager? Do you find a oh, shit. Look at this. Uh, hey, look! Look at this. We can hire a manager. Is this going to be... Uh, what? A Ada Russo. Foreman. Effectiveness increase and job quality reduced. Oh, okay. Uh, inventor. Generates research points proportional to the building effectiveness. Wow, that's pretty cool. Landlord increases housing quality of nearby residences. That's cool to know. Supervisor. Oh, okay. Just straight up building effectiveness increased by five. Let's do it. We're going to hire a supervisor. Yes. Cool. Did that... Did that happen? Oh, yeah! Oh, look at... Oh, that's cool! Yeah, look! We actually have! It's Mercurio Castillo! Oh, fantastic! Okay, let's hire one for here, too. That is awesome. Okay, we're gonna hire up a manager. And again... Oh, shit, I see. Okay. Uh, this time, let us have... Uh, Foreman. Ada Russo. You're hired! Okay, Ada Russo is going to uh, manage that plantation. Do we want to have a plantation... Oh, shit, yeah, we want a manager here, too. Uh, the housing quality, no. We want to have housing quality increased around here. The landlord, look at that. Housing quality of nearby residences by five. Yes. Bam. We're going to hire you as the manager of the construction office. And that means the housing quality... Construction of His Majesty's Oaks Underwater I was looking at something. ...has begun. The crown requires a great many tons of your crops to help pay for this oh, massive project. shit. Are you serious? I'm, I'm nearly there. Uh, he wants a combined total of 10,000 of my cash crops. Your revolutionaries find this number too high and suggest that you send only half that amount. Opposing this, the royalists demand that you send double the amount instead. With whom will you side? Well, seeing as we actually want to um, increase our revolutionary support, we're going to um, send half. Um, because I think that's what we need to do. No mandate reward. I don't think we need a mandate extension at this point. I think we're doing quite well. Uh, and we're going to get some increased revolutionary support. Bam. We'll only send it half. Motherfuckers. That's right. 5,000. That's a lot. New dog. I tried to talk to the pirates about our revolution. But they only laughed oh, at you me. Oh, not again. I, I regret clicking on that straight away. Uh, and we've got some research unlocked here, too. What can we actually... Should we get cowboys? I like the sound of cowboys. Well, we're going to get cowboys. There we go. Come on, give me the cowboys. Uh, and also, we want to build a new dock. Uh, where's the dock? It's an infrastructure dock. We got this. No problem. We're going to build it right next to the other dock. Oh, look at this. That's a big dock. Wow, wow, wee, wow. And we're going to have to connect it up, I guess, with a road. It's no problem. Just extend the road down a bit. Uh, and we now have two docks. Well, soon to be two docks. Oh, uh, yeah, that works. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Two docks. Side by side. Uh, that means that we'll have even more steam paddle boats coming in to relieve our island of all of its agricultural um, boon. Look at that. Making so much sugar and corn. It's unbelievable. Probably actually do with maybe another plantation at some point. Uh, do we want to build a lumber mill? Fucking, I am really tempted to build a... A lumber mill. It's in here, right? Mm, mill. 7,500 bucks. We can produce planks from logs, export them, and make a shit ton of money. I think it's gonna happen. I think this is this is the thing that needs to happen right now. And of course, where better to place a noisy ass lumber mill than right in the heart of town? <laughs> so that everybody can walk to work very quickly and nobody will ever be able to sleep again for the sound of sawing. Lots of sign. All right, putting it there. That is a big fucking lumber mill. Uh, it's going to make our town look really cool now, too. Look, it's an extra building. Really, really nice. To go alongside the nice grocery store that we have here. And also this really slamming hot library that we've built. Great. Um, we should get some money for building the dock. 
we might uh, make some money off planks now that we have the lumber. Uh, do we need to like do something here to say send this lumber to... Oh, look at this. There's upgrades too. Power saw and reforestation. Those are going to be useful at some point. Uh, unfortunately, they're not available until the World Wars and the Cold War. That's fine. Um, cool. How much? Oh, look at lifetime profits. 1,000 bucks. There's 63,000 logs available. That's a lot of logs. Crap. That is a lot of logs. More logs than I could have ever imagined. It's got to be said. Um, okay. This dock should finish up fairly soon um ish i guess and um this might also finish up kind of, oh look at you can actually pay oh, look at you can actually pay double to have it build even quicker that's crazy oh shit we dropped down into the red too it's okay though uh there there are things afoot which should get us Someone stole well my up manuscript into the and green. published it under a pseudonym. Oh. It was an autobiographical story okay, about two counselor. men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. Oh, fuck you, Penultimo. I can't listen to him anymore. I'm done. I'm done with listening to Penultimo. We've unlocked cowboys. What can we... Holy shit! Look at this! Oh, look at it. Increased support for independence, basic constitution principles, voting rights, religion, and state armed forces. I think we're going to actually need to unlock this anyway at some point. So let's do it. We're going to research the constitution. Bam. Let's do it. Together. As a society on this crappy little island. Although, I mean, it's not too crappy. Look, there's a lot of people wanting to move here. Look, we have 92 people here now and only 10 people that are homeless. Where are the other shacks? Are there shacks, like, out in the middle of the nowhere here? Is that what's happening? Oh, I see. I fucking found Thanks you guys. Oh, shit, Evita, I was just about to get rid of some shanks. Stronger. No, no, it's good. Uh, do we want some new trade routes with the smugglers? Sign uh, Let's get some more educated citizens in. I can't go wrong with three more educated citizens. All right, I fucking found you guys. And guess what? The sea is too crowded. I am, it is full I'm of lost so angry right cities, now. rich American industrialists, and sleeping alien gods. Oh, yeah. His majesty has no desire to mingle with such things. Okay. Uh, construction on the underwater palace has been stopped. All right. From now on, you will receive fewer, if any, options to extend your mandate. Oh, shit. Oh, no. His Majesty will grant you one of these rewards for your service to the crown. Oh, shit. Okay, well, this is our last possible mandate extension. Because uh, there are going to be fewer and further between. Okay. Bam. We've extended it. We now have three years and nine months left of mandate. All right. Uh, who's living in here? Fuck you guys, Benjamin Rodriguez and Paloma Rodriguez and also Pepito Gonzalez. Get out of here, go move into a country house. And also, you guys too, look, it's it's Eloy Silva, all by himself. Get out of here, Eloy, not in my backyard, you son of a bitch. There, hopefully they moved into this nice residential area of town that I've painstakingly built from scratch for these people. Who's homeless now? Ah, uh, there's still eight fucking people. Where are these fucking shacks? Alright. Fucking, as soon as I find these shacks, you trust me. Is that a shack? No, that's not a shack. Oh, here they are. They're right fucking here. Jolly Goldsworth, oh, no, please! Given his majesty's subject food. Damn! So now you should make them pay for it. Oh, okay. Extra rations. Uh, do we want to issue extra rations for increased revolutionary support? I think we do. I think it's going to cost us some more, but... Uh, oh, look at this. We can issue both. Oh. Should we issue both? Yeah, I think we should. We'll get an ex we'll get an extension on the mandate, and we'll get uh, revolutionary support. Okay, we're doing it. Bam. Okay, now, if you don't mind, Oaksworth, I was in the middle of actually throwing Adolfo Soto and Amaya Soto out of their goddamn shack. That's right. And who else? Also these guys. Guadalupe, Ortega... I am afraid oh, that Smith, your colony I'm is seriously still doing about to punch myself in the face. This is too much. Stop Puerto interrupting Coco me. And Ila Rojo, his majesty is not. I don't give a pleased. fuck about his majesty. His majesty has decided to provide you with an incentive to do better in the future. A special tax. To be paid immediately. I'm not fucking paying shit, okay? Maybe this is by design. Maybe they've designed it in this way so that it would frustrate me and annoy me so much that I actually don't want to fucking do shit. But 
fuck you. I'm not paying your fucking tax. I'm trying to save up 15,000 bucks for an objective in a video game, Oldster, so fuck you. That's right. Yeah, they still sent me 5,100 bucks. I can't believe it. All right. Back to business. Uh, Guadalupe Ortega, Arely Ortega, and Claude Alphonse. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God, I'm gone. Okay. How are we doing now? Anyone homeless? Oh, there's still three. There's still three homeless people, but there are no more shacks. We've actually finally managed to eradicate all shacks from our beautiful island. And damn, I feel fine. Holy crap, do I feel good about that. That actually has made me quite happy. All right, uh, our lumber mill is up and running. Do we want a manager? Yeah, we do. Uh, do we want this inventor? Sure, why not? We're having an inventor work at the lumber mill. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she doesn't look like much of an inventor because she has that like funny looking, uh, like a grandma cap on. Danitza Rodriguez. Um, okay, you're, you're hired. Thanks. You can manage the lumber mill. Great. I don't know if we'll ever get any more managers. I, I mean, maybe I've sort of put them in all the wrong places as well. But actually, I'm quite happy with my choices. Uh, how are we doing? There's 40 supporters. Where are all of them? I want to kill all of these people so that I can... Uh, where's my revolutionaries? We need to... Oh, look, Caribbean happiness, 31. God, there's so much shit to look at. Okay. Um, did we not issue those? Jolly good, old chap. You've given His Majesty's subjects food. Okay. So now you should make them pay for All it. All right, so I haven't actually um, issued them. No free lunch and extra rations. Okay, fine. Uh, no free lunch? 3,000 bucks. Oh, and extra rations? 500 bucks. Okay. Holy shit. We're going to issue this. Uh, paying for their lunches is a foreign concept to all Tropicans, but I hear it is very popular in countries more sophisticated than ours. Let us put a price on all food stuff. The poor may starve, but what do they contribute to our economy anyway? Penultimo, you are one ruthless bastard. Uh, we have to issue this. Bam. It's been issued. We lost 3,000 bucks. Uh, however, we also want to do this extra rations one as well. Uh, which is going to increase the food consumption and food happiness of all citizens. Don't forget, fat and lazy people are less likely to revolt. Wow, Penultimo. <laughs> another another real uh, nugget of wisdom from you issue. Okay, you've done it. I have 5,000 bucks now. Oh. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Great. Do we want to check out a new trade route with the smugglers? Why the hell not? Where is it? Trade. Where's the smugglers? Where are they? Active there's no active trade routes. Where where are the smugglers? Maybe they're maybe they'll just like dock with us and sort of say, hey guys, do you want me to smuggle some stuff for you? And we'll say, yes! Smuggle all our corn. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. I kinda hope it is actually. I would really like for some smugglers to turn up and smuggle all of my corn off of my island. I think that would be fantastic. Um, okay, how are we doing here? Whoa, lifetime profit of 12,233 bucks. That's fantastic. And lifetime profit of 10,725 bucks. This is a better plantation, but don't tell these guys in case they get very angry. 4,959 bucks worth of exported, not extorted, Tropican goods. That's great. And how much is this? This is so far made 562 bucks. I don't know, that seems pretty good to me actually. What's this budget do? I, I don't get this. Maybe it'll explain it to me later. Look, we have a two star lumber mill. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> don't know why it has a star rating. Do lumber mills actually have a star rating in the real world? Like, I only buy my lumber from five star rated lumber mills. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a thing. Could be. Could well be. Holy shit, look at that. Our approval rating is going up. We're at 34%. And that's because we now have 35 people supporting the revolutionary cause. Look at that. That's great. And our foreign relations are now neutral. We've lost a lot of leverage with the crown by not paying that tax for the underwater palace. That tax was bullshit. That tax was fucking bullshit. And also a shack has appeared here. And it's Francesca Giordano and her sister, Dominga Martinez. They both moved into this really crummy shack. Guys, look, I have a country house on me. Look, I can afford it. 
I want the best for both of you. Have this house. Get that fucking check out of here. And get this. Fuck, I am getting angry. I'm getting angry, Aquiles Pina. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs>